Grand Ayatollah Mohammad Taqi Bahjad Fumani was born in 1915 into a religious family well known for its piety in the city of Fuman in northern Iran. The loss of his mother when he was just two years old left a bitter taste in his mouth. His father Karbalay Muhammad Bahjad was a trustworthy and reliable personality in that region. He had a high poetic and literary taste, composing poems of praise and eology for Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, especially Imam Hussein. Indeed, Ayatollah Bahjad was reared in the lap of a man whose heart was filled with the warmth of loving the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. From a young age, he showed signs of being a genius and had a great thirst for acquiring knowledge. After his primary studies, he went straight into religious studies and at the age of 14, he moved to Karbala. Four years later, in 1933, he went to the famous seminary of Najaf, where he had the opportunity to study under some of the best teachers and scholars in the Muslim world. Having completed the higher level of his studies, he could understand and relate to the lessons of great professors such as Sayyid Abdul Hassan Esfahani and Agha Mirza Naini. Then he entered in the courtyard of knowledge and virtue and could complete his higher studies at the hands of great Allame, Haj Sheikh Muhammad Hassan Qarayi Esfahani. He was also a student of the greatest teacher of Irfan in recent history, Sayyid Ali Ghazi Tabo Tabai. In 1944, Bahjad returned to Qom, Iran and became Ayatollah al-Ozma Kamari's student while also attending Ayatollah Burjardi's lectures on Islamic laws and jurisprudence. Ayatollah Muhammad Taghi Bahjad was not only an eminent Islamic scholar of jurisprudence and Islam, he was also a teacher of some of the highest, very renowned and most knowledgeable scholars and mujtahids of our time. <laughs> چه مؤمن باشد چه کافر باشد این روایت دارد خیلی مناسبه با اعتبارم هست هر کی رو بفات می کند چه مؤمن باشد چه کافر باشد میگه ای کاش که دوتر آمده بوده ای کاش که دوتر آمده بوده مؤمن مقاماتش می بینه اینجا سوال را کن خوب این زبایه بهش را ببینه اینجاست همین دیدنش کردن اون گیره دیگه از خال میگره از خوشحالی He was also a true Arif or mystic in every sense of the world. At the same time as attending intermediate and higher levels of religious studies, he was very meticulous in his pursuit of spiritual and mystical instruction. From his youth, Ayatollah Bahjad was constantly engaged in self-purification and self-building. In his ethical instructions, he always insisted that one should work hard at these tasks and forego and abandon many luxuries in order to make headway against the endless demands of the soul. Among his other characteristics, we can note his asceticism and worship, saluting the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam, humbleness, his spiritual station, his awareness of the unseen, and his wondrous acts. He offered the extension of luminosity through the path of the Ahlul Bayt of the noble messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. His desire to control his desire and carnal soul in order to achieve proximity towards the Most High became evident to all those around him from a very early age. He guarded his eyes from evil and sin and was able to see veiled realities. When Ayatollah Bahjad began to pray, his focus was uninterrupted, sincere, attentive, constant, and very intense. And each time he led prayers, the mosque would be filled with Muslims wanting to get a glimpse of this man best known for his exemplary character and piety. This great scholar was like a candle which was lit from the luminescence of the love of His Majesty and burned with the sincere and pure intentions and spread light to the hearts of true seekers and finally ceased to glow on May 17, 2009.